As the 1980s commenced, the Iranian Air Force faced a challenging era following the abrupt cessation of ties with the United States. This rupture left behind an aging fleet of aircraft. However, in an unforeseen turn, the global arena bore witness to the introduction of Iran's indigenous wonder, the Kahar 313. This heralded the emergence of a fifth-generation stealth fighter, a remarkable feat for a nation previously reliant on external sources for its aerial prowess. This intriguing aircraft, echoing the silhouette of the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, unveiled an aerodynamic design combined with specialized coatings designed to elude radar detection. Its internal capacity, boasting the ability to carry payloads exceeding 2,000 pounds, stood as a testament to Iran's burgeoning aerospace ambitions. Despite Iran's assurances and the grandeur of the Kahar 313's reveal, Western analysts maintained skepticism regarding Tehran's capability to operationalize a fifth-generation stealth fighter. This skepticism stems from the antagonistic historical backdrop characterizing Iran's relationships with the United States and other Western powers. Delving into the tapestry of international relations reveals a bygone era where Iran fostered close ties with the British Empire, France, and the United States following the aftermath of World War I. This rapport, albeit tested during World War II, bore fruit during the throes of the Cold War. It was during this period that the United States provided pivotal military assistance to bolster Iran's air force, shaping its formidable aerial fleet. The symbiotic relationship between the United States and Iran during the Cold War witnessed the infusion of sophisticated aircraft like the Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighter, the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II, and the prestigious Grumman F-14 Tomcat into Iran's aerial arsenal. These acquisitions positioned Iran as a dominant force in the Middle Eastern airspace. However, the pendulum of diplomatic relations swung drastically with the tumultuous events of the 1979 revolution, culminating in severed ties between Iran and the United States. This fracture led to a period of escalating hostility, with Iran grappling with the dwindling availability of spare parts for their American-made aircraft. Faced with limitations and challenges in procuring essential components, Iran resorted to clandestine means to maintain the functionality of its aging American aircraft. Yet, in a bold move, Iran pivoted towards an ambitious vision to engineer its fighter rather than rely on external sources, marking a pivotal juncture in its aerospace history. This visionary pursuit culminated in the collaboration between Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries Corporation and Iran Aircraft Industries, heralding the birth of the F-313 Kaher, or Conqueror, a testament to Iran's determination to chart its aerial destiny. The grand spectacle of February 2013 witnessed the unveiling of the F-313 Kaher amidst fervor and declarations from Iranian officials asserting its supremacy over renowned fighters. These proclamations echoed Iran's burgeoning self-reliance and technological prowess in the realm of military aviation. Detailed descriptions published by Mishar News Agency sought to illuminate the groundbreaking features of the Kahar, emphasizing its stealth capabilities, sophisticated cockpit technology, and purported payload capacity, painting a portrait of a formidable airborne asset. Despite Iran's enthusiastic assertions and detailed delineations, the unveiling of the Kaher in 2013 sparked intense scrutiny and skepticism from aviation experts and online communities, raising doubts about its feasibility and capabilities. Furthermore, the design involved blending hot exhaust gas with cold air in the inlet ducts, effectively cooling it down before it exited the exhaust system. This approach significantly minimized the heat impact on the Kaher's surface. As a testament to its stealth capabilities, the aircraft was built using radar absorbent materials, strategically reducing radar reflection and absorbing wave energy. This skepticism persisted, with critiques surfacing regarding various aspects of the Kahir's design and functionality. Experts pointed to discrepancies in cockpit layout and overall dimensions, casting shadows over Iran's claims regarding the aircraft's capabilities. In the cockpit, there were eight analog displays, 
incorporating the advanced multifunction display technology. It's incredibly tiny, so much so that fitting a pilot in the ejection seat is a challenge, let alone squeezing in all the crucial avionics, fuel, engine parts, and weapons. Initially, the specs claimed it could carry serious firepower, but the reality of housing two 2,000-pound bombs and at least six air-to-air -air missiles without a weapon bay was simply impossible. Aerodynamically, the Kahair boasted sizable vertical tail surfaces and angled wings, a design that prioritized both stability and maneuverability in the skies. Weighing in at 14 tons, this aircraft struck a perfect balance between speed, agility, and firepower. All this scrutiny unveiled specific technical flaws, including the absence of an engine nozzle, striking resemblances to older aircraft models, raising questions about the Kiher's purported technological advancements and capabilities. Despite Iran's persistent assertions and attempts to showcase the Kaher's functionality through purported flight tests and maneuvers, these efforts were met with skepticism and debunked as potentially doctored or representing drone flights. The unexpected turn of events in February 2023 marked a paradigm shift in the Kaher project, from a manned fighter jet to an unmanned aerial vehicle. This transformation mirrored global trends in unmanned warfare, ushering in a new chapter in Iran's aerospace pursuits. This transformation signified a divergence from Iran's erstwhile aspirations of challenging air superiority with a fifth-generation manned fighter aligning with contemporary trends and marking a profound evolution in Iran's aerial strategy. Thank you for watching, General Furrington. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. For more stories like this, make sure to check out all the other documentary videos. Stay tuned for more.